Okay, so the next question that we have is uh, example number uh, example number uh, 14. It has two parts. You want to find the sum of the first thousand positive integers. You want to find the sum of the first find the sum of the first the first thousand thousand positive positive integers. So you can imagine that you have basically one, two, three, all the way up to a thousand. And so that, that's an arithmetic progression. Here your a is equal to one, your d is equal to one. And so if you want to find the, the, the sum of all of these numbers, that would be s of thousand. And you know that s of n is equal to n divided by two times two a plus n minus 1 times d, which means that s of 1000 is equal to 1000 divided by 2 times 2a, which is equal to 2, plus n minus 1, which is 999 times times 1, which is equal to 999. That's the same thing as 500, and 999 plus, plus 1 is equal to 1001. 1001 and that's actually 500 that's actually 500 so you have 500 times 1001 which is the same thing as 500100 that is equal to 1s of 1000 <coughs> that's supposed to be a 5 here I apologize so that's five zero zero five zero zero. That's the sum of the first thousand in the first thousand, the first thousand positive integers. Part two of this question, fourteen, fourteen. Part two, part, part two. You want to find the the, the first n positive integers. You want to find the sum of find the sum of of the first n positive integers positive integers <coughs> and that's the same thing as basically you have one two three all the way up to n right so here basically your a is equal to, that's, a, that's an arithmetic progression, your a is 1, your d is 1, and to calculate s of n, you just simply write this as, you, you just simply write the same formula, s of n is equal to n divided by 2 times basically 2a plus n minus 1, n minus 1 times d, right? And so, if you simplify this formula, what you will get is um, what you will get is uh, now if a is equal to one and d is equal to one, this becomes s of n is equal to n divided by two divide times basically two times a is equal to two plus uh, basically n minus one times d, which is n, n minus one which is the same thing as n divided by 2, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, so that's n plus 1. So that's that's the same thing as n times n plus 1 divided by 2, that is basically s of n. So what that means is that the, the, the sum of, that means that the sum of, of the first, of the first n positive of of the first n positive integers integers which is to say the the sum of the first the sum of the first n natural numbers
is equal to is equal to basically is is given by basically n times n my n plus one divided by two n times n plus one divided by two that's the sum of the first n positive integers okay so the next question that we have is question example number 15 where you want to basically find the sum of the first 24 terms of the list of numbers whose nth term is given by a of n is equal to 3 plus 2n so you want the question is basically example number example number 15 is you want to find the sum of you want to find the sum of the sum of, of the first 24 terms of the of the first 24 terms 24 terms of the list of numbers of the list of numbers whose nth term is given by whose nth term is given by is given by basically a of n is equal to 3 plus 2n right so if your a of n is equal to 3 plus 2n so that means that basically your your basically um basically you know that your s of n is equal to um, your s of n is equal to basically n divided by 2 times 2a 2a plus n minus 1 times d right so in this formula you need your n which you will get from here you need your a which you, you can get from here so you need your a and you need your d right so now this this list of numbers the nth term of it of this list of numbers is given by this rule which is a of n is equal to 3 plus 2n which means that a of 1 is equal to 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 a of 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 times 2 is equal to 4 which is equal to 7 a of 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 times 2 times 3 is equal to 6 which is equal to 9 and so on and so forth that means that the list of numbers is 5, 7, 9 and so on and so forth which means that here your a is equal to 5 and your d is equal to 2 so now I can use this information here and write basically s of you want to find the sum of the first 24 terms that means that basically the sum s of 24 is equal to basically n divided by 2 which is which is 24 divided by 2 times 2a which is 2 times 5 plus n minus 1 which is 23 times d d is equal to 2 so that's the same thing as 24 divided by 2 which is equal to 12 <coughs> which is equal to 12 times 2 times so is equal to 10 plus 46 10 plus 46 which is equal to 12 times 56 12 times 56 and 12 times 56 is, is the same thing as uh, 12 1 10 11 0 156 so you have 2 7 672 672 that's the that's the sum of the first 24 terms of this list of numbers um, the next question that we have is example number 16 is example number 16 which is basically a manufacturer of, of tv sets produce 600 sets in the third year and 700 sets in the seventh year so in the third year in the third year they they they, they basically they produced they produced 600 sets of tvs 
or t v sets in the seventh year in the seventh year they produced um seven hundred sets seven hundred sets assuming that the production increases uniformly by a fixed number every year so when you say that production when you say that pro the production increases increases uniformly uniformly by by a fixed number by a fixed number by a fixed number every year every year that means that you are dealing with a with an uh, basically with you're dealing with an arithmetic progression which means that you have your a of one you have your a of two a of three is equal to your a of a of three for example a of four a of five and so on and so forth and your a of three is equal to a of three is equal to six hundred and your a of seven is equal to seven hundred right um, now you want to basically you you want to to answer a couple of questions you want to f number one you want to find find basically the production in the first year you want to find the production you want to find the production the production in the first year right so now to find the production in the first year so what you can do is that of course you know that basically for to find the production in the first year you have a of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d so you need your a and you need your d right so we can find our a and d from the, from these two pieces from these two pieces of information that we have here meaning that when i say a of 3 is equal to 600 that means that then based on this formula a of 3 would be a plus basically 3 would be 3 minus 1 is equal to 2d is equal to 600 and when i say that basically a of 7 is equal to 700 that means that a plus 6d is equal to 700. If I call this equation number 1 and if I call this equation number 2, I can write 1 is basically a plus 2d is equal to 600. And number 2, I can write a plus 6d is equal to 700. And then add these two together, I will get basically... 2d minus 60 which is equal to negative 4d is equal to negative 100 which means that basically d is equal to 100 divided by 4 which is equal to 25 which is equal to 25 and then you can use any of these equations for example a plus 2d is equal to 600 substitute d here a plus 2 times 25 is equal to 50 is equal to 600 which means that a is equal to 600, 600 minus 50 is equal to 550. So your a is equal to 550, your d is equal to 25. Your d is equal to 25. Which means that, which means that if you want to now calculate a of 1, find the production in the first year or a of 1, you will you will be able to write a of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d so a of 1 would be equal to basically a which is equal to 550 plus n minus 1 which is basically essentially 0 here 0 times d which is equal to 550 a of 1 that is the production the production in in the first year in the first year number two the production in the tenth year number two if you want to do the production if you want to find the production 
the production in the 10th year you'll have you'll have a of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d so a of 10 would be equal to a which is equal to 550 plus n minus 1 which is equal to 9 times d which is equal to 25 which means that 9 times 25 is equal to 250 minus 25, which is equal to 225. So that's 550 plus 225, which is equal to 775. 775, that's A of 10. That's the production in, that's the production in, in the 10th year. In the 10th year. And then, and then the third part of this question is the total production in the first seven years. So the third part of this question, you want to find, you want to find the total production, the total production in, in the, in the first, seven years so the total production in the first seven years you you know that basically you can find that using s of n is equal to n divided by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d so we already have our our n we have we have our a and d and therefore s of 7 would be equal to 7 divided by 2 times 2 times a, a is equal to basically 550, 2 times 550 plus n minus 1, which is equal to 6 times d, and d was equal to 25. d was equal to 25. Which means that over here you have 1,100, you have 7 divided by 2 times 1,100, 6 times 25 is equal to 120, that's 150, that's 150, and that is 7 by 2, 1,100 plus 150 is, is, is times 1,250, and 1,250 divided by 2 is equal to 500, 625, 625, and 625 times 7 is the same thing as 7 times 7 is equal to 35, 3, 6, 7, 14, 17, 1, and 42, 43. So that's the same thing as 4,375. And that is basically the number of, that is basically the number of, the number of TV sets produced in the first produced in the in the first in the first seven years seven years right that is four thousand three hundred seventy five okay now uh, the next thing that we have here is exercise five point three. We will go through these exercises and um, after that we have some other exercises and then this chapter is essentially over. I'll see you in the next video and thank you.